last lesson we have taken up the push pass push pass is not the only pass which is being taken by the footballers there are other skills which is other type of kicks there is a other variety of kicking possible in the field of football and often this place kick is there this is which is known as kicking with the in step why we are taking the place kick or in steps kicks in order to cover maximum distance in the ground or to send the ball to a maximum distance is the sole aim of uh, kicking with, with the in step in our previous uh, kick pass we have used the entire foot the portion of the foot starting from the toe to the uh, heel now here the this uh, portion from uh, your toe to the upper part of the uh, ankle is known as instep this portion is used in in stepping or kicking in the kicking with the instep this is most common and often used by the footballers this pass is accurate to but this depends upon your skill your mastery over the skill but the particular aim is to send the ball farther from your sight the sole aim is kicking with the in step of the foot no this technique is having a peculiar type of uh, phases as in previous uh, uh, scale, uh, skill we have taken up the four phases four aspects first is approach in push pass we have taken up your approach was a straight approach here your approach is not straight you see you are coming from a side suppose there is a pop ball and you are coming from a, a side forming some angle and your approach run is more than 6 to 8 yards again i have, I have to uh, explain this in our push pass our run was your approach run was 3 to 4 yards here your approach run is 6 to 8 yards because we have to give greatest impact to your ball this can be only possible when your ball is getting maximum force from the striking portion and with whole foot you can not give a full force but with the inside of the foot which starts from the toe to the middle portion of the foot this is known as in step little bit upper portion as well as the lower portion of the uh, feet is used in step is used in this type of kicking there is a slight bend in your knee and again your kicking leg is swinging back with some force in previous uh, kick we have taken outward turn of your foot but here you have to take it from the side this way in this way you have to strike the ball while approaching the ball take 6 to 4 yards and come with a force if you are coming slow then the force will not be applied to the ball the type of uh, um, force you are having with the ball the longer it will travel in the air or on the ground so first aspect is approach your approach should be very nice and in accordance with the nature of the kicking 
suppose you have taken correct approach then comes the positioning how to take position on the ball suppose you want to want that your kick should go high then your non kicking foot should remain not in parallel with the ball light slight backward from uh, 8 to 10 inches away from the ball this is 10 to 8 inches from the ball only then you can get maximum impact and keep your body weight slight back if you are keeping your body weight forward then you won't be able to get lob or kicking kick will kicking will not take height so in order to give height to your kick your body weight must be backward that means your center of gravity must lie in the base of your foot that means between the kicking foot and the non kicking foot only then your ball will take strike if you are taking more bending position then your ball is not going to take flight this is the positioning there is a bend in your non kicking foot and there is a swing on to your kicking foot and keep your toes straight and keep your inner step in line with the ball again i am giving you and uh, how to keep position keep your ball and keep your feet uh, 10 to 12 inches away from the ball non kicking foot should be 10 to 12 inches away from the ball and your kicking foot must be having a backward swing and your toe must be taking the direction of the kick and there should be not be any tension at this moment because if you are keeping stiff your body then kicking will not take place in order to give force you have to get maximum benefit from your muscles and keep loose and then you are when you are going to uh, have impact then there should be a strong uh, strain in your body only then you can kick this is the positioning then when you are kicking your the uh, action of your arms should be different here we are giving you yeah, you see there is a flex armed and one arm is on this side what is the function of these this type of a posture these type of postures are giving you the balancing position they are keeping you well balanced only then you can have a stance of kicking you see ball is kicker kicking but every time your attention must be focused upon the ball if ball is not visible to you you cannot kick properly that means ball must be visible to you your attention must be focused on the ball and your body must be relaxed not in a tense position only then you can get maximum impact from the ball when you are coming to this very stance then comes the execution if you want that your ball should go ball should take flight then you kick the ball on the base level below the center level only then this ball will go up and keep your body weight slight backward slight backward doesn't mean you are keeping entire body weight back only in this position you cannot be able to kick the ball even you are not going to produce maximum impact if you are kicking keeping body weight too much back 
that means optimum level of um, backward swing is there. Then you see this stance is there. This is the position of the foot. And when you are striking the ball in the base of the ball, then this ball will take flight. If you are striking the ball in the middle, then it will take position on the ground. If you are striking above the, then this will give a swinging. Moreover, the position where you want to kick is quite in line with the target, where you want that your ball should go. If you are not kicking in line with the ball, then your ball will take position in other areas. That means if you want that your ball should go straight, then your kicking portion must strike the their portion which takes the straight, straight position. Only then this ball will go. After striking the ball, don't stop your action. Your swinging action must follow further. The type of uh, suppose you want to kick in that direction, your kicking foot must follow the same direction too. This is known as a follower. This will give a greater impact, greater contact with the ball. Only then ball will go further. This means the greater force will come with the ball. This, uh, this kick is most popular kick so far as your uh, uh, this kicking with instep is concerned, often this kick is used. Now, suppose you don't want that your ball should go, uh, ball should take flight, then what you have to do? You have to keep your body weight forward, same position, same approach. But here, when you are taking the position, keep your non-kicking foot in parallel with the ball. Previously, previously we were taking non-kicking foot slide back. Now here, this time we will take the non-kicking foot parallel with the ball. Again, there is there should be a difference from 10 to uh, 12 inches from the ball and again your approach is same 6 to 8 yards then again there you should take a swing backward swing of your kicking foot and take the toe towards the ground but here, when you are coming to the position, keep your body weight ahead. That means the center of gravity must lie on the ball itself. Only then your ball will go on the ground. Same approach is there. If you are right footer, then come from the left side. If you are left footer, then come from this side. Hmm? If you are left, foot, left footer, come from the left position. If you are right footer, come from the left position. That means form certain angles. Your approach should be not straightforward. There should be a, a angular approach towards the ball. Again, at the positioning, keep your body weight ahead. As this person is keeping, body weight is ahead. When you are keeping your body weight ahead, that ball is not going to uh, taking any height. Ball will travel on the floor itself, on the ground itself. Now, again, you have taken a strike, you have taken 
a kick. Again, your follow through is uh, having utmost importance. Try to take the follow through action. Your all action must be having a sequence, approach, position, execution and follow through. Only then this uh, kick can be having any utility. Otherwise what happen? Your ball will take sink towards other direction. Your soul aim will be forfeited. No, this was the two type of variations taken by the in step. Often people are using, previously we have taken the push pass, now we have taken the uh, kicking with the in step. Now there is another variation, kicking with the full step. This step is having a very great force, a great impact. Jab, ye dekho, ye dekha rahe na, this, this portion is there. This, this portion of the foot is striking this time. This is having a very strong type of impact upon the ball. When you are uh, kicking the ball, when ball is having some flight and you are kicking with this type of, you see there is a great impact in your kick. Volleys are there. Eh? You might have noticed when ball is having flight, and kicking become a very forceful. On this time, this type of kicking is very successful in the, But if you want that your ball must not have a flight, then what you have to take? In the same way, you have to follow the, all the uh, stages of the kicking. First the approach. Suppose ball is taking flight and you have to approach the ball. These were the uh, kicking when the ball was stationary. Here the ball will be in a moving position. When ball is moving, ball is taking flight and you have to take the position on the ground. In this very manner, your approach is again a short one. Again a short one. That varies from your judgment. What is the uh, flight of the ball? Then your approach, you, your approach changes in accordance with the flight of the ball. If ball is too far away, you can take too much position. But if ball is coming too near, then approach should be a very short. Then have a slight bend in your knee and keep your slight body forward. There should be a bend in your hip joint also as, as I am giving you. Then try to keep a swing from the backward. Not from this very not from this very angle, backward. And then strike, keep the ball in a straight line, just under the hip joint. When you are keeping your foot in this very direction, only then your foot will have a contact with the ball. Small ball is taking flight and you are meeting the ball in the air. This portion of the foot must strike with the ball. And where it should strike? If it is striking on the upper portion of the ball and your ball has taken so much uh, distance and that is about to touch the ground, then you can kick this way. Otherwise, if ball is in the air, you have to strike it on the lower level. If it is being striked on the lower level, then it will go farther with the force. Then 
if you are striking the ball in the middle of the portion, then it will not take any more flight, it will go quite straight. But now here again the question arises, where to kick the ball, in which direction it will go. Again this depends on your judgment. You have to make proper judgment uh, regarding the flight of the ball. If ball is not coming in accordance with the uh, posture which you have adopted, then it is not going to strike properly. Ball is not going to you. You have to adopt the position according to the flight of the ball. Only then you can kick the ball in a proper direction. Two type of variations I have given you in this kicking with the instep and one this kicking with the full instep. These are very common skills used in football. Often players are using these skills. Each skill is having its own utility. And in order to have mastery over the um, skills, you have to follow all the these uh, steps one by one. Okay? This, this is all about the um, kicking with the in step and kicking with the full in step. Now, we will have uh, clear picture of the whole scale by repeating it in a full scale. Approach, positioning, execution and follow through. If you want to kick with your right foot, then your approach should be from a left side. If you are kicking with the left foot, then your approach should be from the right side. This is most important. If, don't try to kick from the straight way. This will not give a greater impact upon the kicking. <laughs>